what's going on guys got a hot tip at O'Reilly's uh, I was in there buying parts for the Daytona and uh, there was a guy that walked in heard us talking about it told me about uh, some Daytonas that was out in uh, Mississippi down in the uh, Tunica area sitting out in the field been sitting there for many years it said it was two of them so we kind of pulled it up on Google Maps and uh, I was able to get the address and uh, me and the missus was over here. We decided to ride down to uh, check them out. It's kind of a rainy, nasty day, so there's nothing else to do. So uh, when I get down there, uh, I'll show y'all what I find, if I find anything. He said it's been a while since he's been down here, so he don't know. Um, if they even still here, so we'll ride down there and check them out, and hopefully uh, get lucky. I'm out here looking at some Dodge Daytonas, and uh, found out uh, being up at O'Reilly's. Guy told me about two that was out in the country. These are lasers. Woo! A lot of water. That one over there is a turbo car. This one's locked. Ooh, I'm getting wet. Number mud. This one here is an automatic. None turbo. I was told he wanted 500 for both. Man, this one's rough. The seats are fucked. Sitting in water. Yeah. This one's pretty rough. Yeah, it's, it's full of water inside. What? That one? That one? Yeah. Wow. Yep. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is stick. Woo! Both of them for sale, but I don't know how much. I'm going to get out of this water later. All right. Rainy outside. Nothing else to do. There's no snow on the ground, that's good. <laughs> well, what I'm gonna try to attempt to do is just kind of touch up these headlight covers. I've already got them down to bare metal. Um, this thing does need a full paint job, but uh, right now, being that I got the Mustang getting painted and it's gonna need some stuff, it's almost ready to come out. And uh, other projects. I don't have the finances right now to get this thing completely painted. I want to get the other stuff done first. So I'm just going to touch up these headlight covers, make it look a little bit more presentable when they're down and you're driving down the road. I'm also going to replace that uh, black eye <laughs> headlight. Looks like it's got a black eye. So I was able to get the paint code, which is... W9 or P is that PM9 sorry about that looks upside down the camera PM9 and that is a uh, black cherry or dark maroon is what they said at the paint shop or at the paint store 
So I went down. I just got a little small paint of uh, this. Uh, it's a uh, black cherry acrylic enamel. Uh, she said I could have got it in a spray can, or I can buy this thing here, Prevail sprayer, and you just pour it in there and uh, shake it up. And this thing's got like pressure, kind of like aerosol, and uh, somehow it builds up pressure and sprays like a paint gun. Um, I haven't even had the top off of it yet to look at it. So it's about 30 bucks for this little can of paint. Like I say, she was able to give me the original color. She said let's go with the black cherry because they were calling for two colors with that same uh, paint coat. And she said it really looks like the uh, black cherry. So, of course, the clear is all peeling off this thing. Um, you can see where that was the color there. So I guess it had a mix of maroon and black cherry together. Um, it looks burgundy to me, but I guess they painted it maroon and put black cherry on top of it. I don't know. But it's definitely going to need a uh, whole paint job. This is mainly surface rust. I know Chrysler was bad about good paint back in the 80s. So every car you see these days that's not painted, they basically look like this. Of course it's got some dings on the door right here. So body is really in good shape. Other couple of dings, I think this side over here. pretty much straight and I gotta replace this gas top lid the gas door the little hinge is broken I have to kind of pry it open plus the cable won't release it so somebody else has been doing it because there's like some chips right here so basically I just want to get the headlights looking good and uh, when I'm able to get it painted I shoot this thing off. I'm not going to look for a hundred thousand dollar paint job. Um, I just want it to look decent enough to be on the road. Plus, I'm going to remove those broken fog lights that's down there and try and find some to replace them with. The lenses have broke out of both of them, so so just a little bit at a time. This is going to be a, uh, as a Vice Grip Garage says, a going to town rig. So it's just going to be a beater. Just get out, run around, run errands, you know, do little stuff in. Um, so I was able to get the cargo cover rolled out, but it won't roll back in. At least it does have it. And I also made me a, uh, a T-handle shifter for the reverse because what happened was the, uh, check that out. the uh, reverse, try to get a light on there. Anyway, it had this little ring on here from the factory that you pulled up with your fingers and uh, then you put it over and up into reverse. Well, I couldn't find that piece. I couldn't find a shifter. So what happened, happened was I rigged it where it stayed pulled up all the time, the mechanism down in there. But if you're not careful with the light, you can easily go in reverse. And you think you're in first. I've almost backed into people with it. So. I got to thinking and I made this little T-handle, I'll uh, have some uh, pictures of it.
made this little T-handle. Just it was I don't know what this thing is off of. It was laying in one of my junk boxes and it has a threaded piece on one end, so I kind of made it fit onto where the reverse linkage is and you just pull it up, pull it up, you go over and that's reverse. And then when you go back to go to first, it already went down, I think, or it didn't. I think you pull it. There it goes. It automatically drops back down. So it's pretty cool. I mean, so yeah. So now I don't have to worry about when I'm sitting at a stoplight. Um, I accidentally put this thing in reverse and back into somebody. I've also put a stereo in it. Um, can we get the key in there? I'm not going to turn it down so I don't want to get no YouTube felony. <laughs> put a stereo in it. So. All the original speakers in here work, by the way. I um, also added a little something extra in the back. So, so yeah, this thing is uh, it's road worthy. So, like I say, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some primer on these headlight covers. I also removed the little plastic inserts that went around that went around the headlights that go up in there. I'm probably going to paint those black. I think they're supposed to be painted the same color as the car. If I had some paint left I'd probably hit them with with that same color. I don't know. haven't thought about it yet but so yeah just a little bit more touching up on the old girl and uh, we will uh, go from there with it just slowly but surely. Okay so I got the headlight lids primer uh, I went ahead and picked up a new headlight bulb. This one is full of water. <laughs> it's like a miniature fish tank. And all the little silver reflective stuff that's supposed to be in there, except for this part, it's gone. So it's still work, but it was kind of dim because uh, it didn't have any reflection paper left. And this is a new one here. So pick this one up pretty cheap. Just a standard. Headlight bulb. So as you can see, it's got the reflection stuff in there in the back. It's got it up top. It don't have it down here at the bottom. But it does have it in the back so the, the light will reflect off of it. It's nice and crystal clear. So we'll get that put in. I want to put this in first before I actually paint it. the lids because I'm going to take the headlights off. I'm just messing around, just trying to make it look a little bit more presentable. That headlight was really killing it because when the lights are up, it had that dim, foggy headlight bulb.
corkscrew. I would turn them on, but I don't want them to go down. That'd just be something we'll do later. So now it's got a nice new headlight bulb. And I also painted the cover that goes around the headlight. So I primed them out, painted them satin black. I think this side goes here. That's why I didn't want to paint nothing yet, the cover, because I didn't want to scratch the paint up trying to get this back in there. Which I'm going to cover it up anyway with some paper. Actually, the original ones had a little red overspray on them. So that looks kind of cool. It ain't that dry rotted plastic look anymore. Nice and black. So actually, I'm just going to tape this off again anyway. And, uh, I shouldn't get any overspray on them. I could take it back off. I was just scared I was going to chip the paint on the outsides, trying to put that back in. Because it did rub it. But we can take that off. But, uh, let's get some screws. Screw that back in. Yeah. We'll unmask the other side. Now, rip off this other side. We'll get the cover back in it. Good thing is, it's 70 something degrees today, which is odd. <laughs> in the middle of, uh, well, the end of February. So I guess it's going to start warming up. After we had all that snow last week. So what I'm going to do is grease these little joints. This makes the headlights flip up and down. I want to kind of grease them up. Because I know that side was kind of delayed when the headlights go up. This side will come up a little bit last. This one will flip up first and then that one will kind of be delayed. But it's got like some pivot points where these little arms are to operate it. So, so now we'll put the cover on that side. Just by painting those uh, covers or inserts that go around the headlights and just put new bulbs in it on one side. Yeah, it looks totally.
totally different. So I'm gonna finish screwing this down, get our paint mixed up, and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that, uh, the headlight lids. And uh, then I'm gonna remove those broken fog lights because they look terrible because the lenses are broke off of them. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find some factory ones. Probably not. I kind of looked uh, a couple weeks ago and couldn't find any. Uh, I did find a car the same color uh, at a salvage yard uh, in upstate, uh, I think it's Washington, but um, his was broken too. So I might have to just find some other kind of fog lights to go down there. But uh, I'm going to get this screwed on and I'll get that paint mixed up. <laughs> well, it ain't the greatest thing I've done. <laughs> that aerosol can ran out. So, being that I'm just trying to make the thing look decent, I just got out the old paintbrush and uh, I just went ahead and just kind of went over with a paintbrush. So I know not to buy that thing again. I would have been better off buying just a can of spray paint. But uh, I just used a little brush and poured it back in the can. So it'll do for right now. I mean, it's got some light brush streaks in it. But for what I'm doing with it, it looks better than nothing. That did not turn out right. But that is the original color. So we'll let that dry and uh, we'll see how it looks with the headlights down. But never buy that aerosol again. I think it's only good for like spot painting. But it ran out of aerosol before I can even get to the other light. So I don't know what the deal is with that. So it's only good for spot painting. You gotta stay with it. Can't let off of it. So, but we'll see how it looks when it dries. Like I said, you're probably gonna see some paintbrush marks. Not too bad though. But like I said, it looked way better than what it did. It didn't have no paint on the headlight lids at first. So. We'll see how it's going to look. Okay, so nice clear headlights, nice freshly painted uh, headlight trim, bezels, or whatever you want to call it. A nice freshly painted headlight lenses. Oh, did I mention that the headlights work now? So there's a computer for the headlights up under the uh, top dash pad and I removed that thing and looked on YouTube there's a guy that shows you how to repair it uh, it involves some scraping all the heat resistant goo out of it and there's four or five solder points on the back of that circuit board somehow the solder goes bad over time so you put new solder on it with a soldering gun and the headlights work. Nice and even. So there we go. So that's just uh, one more thing on the list for now.
and whittling it down. So you can just basically visualize what the rest of the paint is going to look like once the car gets painted. So that's supposed to be the original paint color. Um, it's a wild cherry or black cherry. I think that's what it's called. <coughs> so now I'm going to remove those fog lights and try and find something to substitute that. But other than that, it looks better than not having no paint on the headlight lids at all. Um, kind of got like a little face going on with a little smiley face. So that's going to be it for right now. If I get something else done on it, I'll show you guys. Uh, I'm going to continue to clean it up, uh, continue to uh, get some other projects out the way, and then try and get this thing really painted and all pretty. So, till next time, like, share, subscribe. Uh, check me out on Facebook at uh, RPM Auto Motor. I do a lot of updates and pictures and uh, just random stuff. And you can also email me at rpmauto4 at yahoo.com. And uh, thanks to all the subscribers that's been subscribing here lately. And uh, I have some more content pretty soon. The weather is starting to warm up a little bit. So I'll be able to get back out and hunt up some stuff, which I did actually earlier uh, yesterday. I found some uh, Chrysler lasers that I was told about so you'll probably see those in this video too alright